Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Eric's marriage drama, couple's first time passion and John Blast's Steve Days of Our Lives reveals that EJ DiMera will reconvene with Stefan DiMera who's presumably been hanging out in the DiMera secret room or indeed the vault to avoid discovery. Once Stefan is certain that the seacoast is clear, he LL match with EJ in the living room to bandy the flight scheme. Harris Michaels has been grilling EJ for answers about Stefan's whereabouts, so EJ may contend he's eager to get him out of the DiMera Mats ASAP. It looks like the escape plot will move forward, but there are always some snags around the corner in Salem. Meanwhile, day spoilers say Harris and Ava Vitali would not be suitable to repel temptation any longer, so they LL get passionate, though they LL have to be careful due to Harris' recent injury. Latterly, DOL suckers can anticipate Stefan to show up at Ava's door, so that LL set the stage for some major news to come out, including Stefan's part in trying to wipe out Harris and the interdicted night he participated with Ava. Until also, day spoilers say Eric Brady and Sloane Peterson Brady will deal with some raising conflict. Sloane's temper may flare over Eric agreeing to let Nicole DiMera host Jude Brady's christening event. It turns out Sloane does not want Nicole at the factual christening either, so she LL beget all kinds of problems and try to ban Nicole from the event at some point during the At the townhouse, days say John Black will be an emotional wreck after hearing Constantine Meliani's story about Katharina's ghastly outgrowth and the pawn's part in causing it. Since John just eavesdropped Steve Johnson talking to Marlena Evans about the same content, he LL really let Steve have it for deceiving him for decades. This will do some damage to John and Steve's fellowship, but the LL no mistrustfulness patch affects up ultimately. The fact that John is likely innocent may turn this plot upside down sooner or latterly. Our prognostications point to a curveball that could mean someone differently took Katharina out all those times agone. So maybe John can crack the case down the road. Days of our lives spoilers say John will unleash his wrath for now, when it comes to detergents, every addict has their own opinion and cleaner mecca is no different. For five days, we sat and watched the good, the bad, and everything in between. Then, we lead with sanguinity. Unfortunately, we do and always get what we want. So then's a review of all four cleaner operas days of our lives, General Hospital, The Bold and the Beautiful, and The Young and the Restless. The week of March 11th to 15th all heaven and hell broke loose in detergents this week as Paulina and Abe entered an angelic visit, a wounded Jason tried to escape law enforcement on GH, Y and R's Lily entered the worst welcome home ever, and on BNB, Finn's birth mama may be hanging him. Days of Our Lives notes it was a two-phenomenon week for Paulina and Abe. At this point, I am simply glad Abe's recollections are back. I am doubtful why the show chose this way to bring them back. There were a million zillion ways it could have happened in the last year, however, also would end it have been more dramatic if Abe flashed back losing one woman. And feeling the heartache of being this close to losing another bone. Perhaps that's just me, if Days had to pile this heart failure extremity onto Paulina's throat cancer. Meanwhile, give me further of Tate and Holly against the world. At the veritably least, against E.J. DiMera. EJ can miss me with his hypocritical thinking that Tate should face consequences for breaking the law when he nearly no way does. Also, please give further of John Black and his struggles. I felt for him so much as he set up out that he may have, I do and believe it for a alternate, killed Constantine's son, Katharina. And to know that his current bestie, Steve Johnson, knew it all along? Wow. I am looking forward to seeing all of John's responses. Eventually, I know they re-principally gone, but someone please move Lonnie and Eli to come back, enough please? Their presence is demanded in Salem. General Hospital notes this week was enough much the Jason is back show, however, we heard the name Jason, everybody talked about him, if we didn't see Jason. That was to be anticipated, however. What was or was end to be anticipated, depending on how expert your deducible logic chops are is John Jagger Cates holding all the influence over Jason. Numerous suckers on social media asked if this means Jagger's a bad Joe or a good Joe. This makes him a tones of Argentine Joe in my book. I am not ready to write him off just yet. What I allowed was intriguing about Jason was his commerce with Danny. I know Danny's happy his pater. 
s home and he got to help him. Asking him to keep their meeting a secret from his mama bothered me so much. There, I said it. I am veritably anxious to learn how Sam will reply when she learns about Danny and Jason's rendezvous on the Quartermain grounds. Speaking of Sam, I simply adore the station she showed this week. She's hella defensive of Dante and cautious of anybody who could potentially hurt him and I am then for it. I mean, I knew Drew and Carly would end last. But I've to say I didn't see them ending so snappily. It was nearly too snappily. But, eventually, I was okay with it. I do and no. It was a bit of a whiplash moment for me. And also coming thing I know, Drew's taking his frustration out on a boxing bag and kinda sorta flirting with Jordan. I do not know if that's leading anywhere, but if GH wanted to mix up their current crop of couples they would end get an argument out of me. Not all, but some. Eventually, I firstly had high expedience of Alexis and Nina getting on and winning every journalism prize in the known macrocosm. But that was naive off, however, I authorize big time if Alexis is about to return to the legal profession. The bold and the beautiful notes is it me or does Sheila feel like she's haunting Finn? It's either that or Finn is passing some kind of PTSD. Actually, I do not know what's going on with him. I am glad he and Steffi are supporting each other, still. They can be as meddled up as they want to be as long as they do so together. Do N leave a splinter of an opening for Liam who's always staying in the bodies hashtag Soranatsuri I nearly had to rewind and renewal Brooke's scenes on Friday saying she's coming around on Hope and Thomas. I could ain't believe my cognizance. Sure, she qualified it by saying she hopes they go laggardly. And we all know they re not going to decelerate, right? Eventually, Luna's and Bill's scenes were awful. I really enjoyed them indeed though I am glad they re not Biopater. And son. They would make a good stepdad and son, however. Meanwhile, I am super curious about where this discussion between Poppy and Finn is going. It more lead to Jack, Ted King, being Luna's father. The young and the restless notes I suppose Lily, Crystal Khalil, let Daniel and Devin out easy with her response, find out the sucker's response then. I hope this is ended and that, at least with Daniel and Heather, Dale Bloom, we will get some kind of delayed response. And she'll go off eventually. I do ain't want her to hold back. Stop being so reasonable, Lily. Go off. That fake concern Heather's playing in front of Daniel is maddening. I like relationship structure on detergents, seeing the structure blocks unfold before my veritably eyes. We re-seeing Summer and Chance from the morning, but that's not who I want to talk about, although I'll say that a arid shower session really does produce quite the gleam. What I loved seeing was Audra and Sally bond over coffee. They participated a stimulating discussion where they talked about their complicated men in a non-judgy fashion. How great was it not hearing Chloe personality Adam each over the place? I do and suppose Adam is Audra's favorite person, but she simply heeded to Sally talk about him and vice versa. I want more, however, perhaps they can hire Sally to do her thing, if Tucker and Audra ever get this glissade stuff going. Yes, I am formerly allowing ahead. I keep allowing about Ashley. How is Tucker the only one who's seeing anything really wrong with her, health-wise? I do and watch what he says. I know that's why he didn't go to Paris, which upset Audra in the process. He knows Ashley's amusement else. He doesn't know if it's commodity further than her intruding with him, testing him, trying to catch him doing commodity wrong, but he knows, right? So why is Ant he telling someone differently? I mean I get why he wouldn't go straight to Jack, but he's got to swallow whatever pride he does have. Ashley needs help with whatever's ailing her whether she's suffering from did or late-onset schizophrenia or a brain excrescence.